Good morning, Smyrna Stars. We are so excited to see you this morning. I hope that your weekend went well and you got outside. It was gorgeous outside. Ms. Ames, did you get a chance to get outside? I did. I actually did. And this weekend, I even got, got up to Lanier Lake, um, Lake Lanier. Oh, nice. That was really nice. Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah. It was well, we're excited to be here today, Ms. Ames. Are you going to start us off with a few things? Um, well, this morning, I want to just give you a weather check. Um, our shout outs, we are, we're pretty good with our shout outs this morning. I know I want to shout out to um, Ms. Um, I'm sorry, Angel Cornell. She has been yes. assisting me with the news behind the scenes, if you know what I mean, people. And uh, I just want to give her the huge shout out because it's been um, just a gift to have her working with me doing morning news behind the scenes. But with weather, we have a warmer day tomorrow, but it is going to be partly cloudy, everybody. But it has a high of 78. So oh, wow. pretty warm, That's but a low be amazing. Seven. it sounds like amazing weather tomorrow, um, yeah. the clouds, but uh, hopefully, you know, they move on past because it's been windy out. So let's hope that the wind just pushes them away. And what about you, Ms. Parker? Say again, the same, some story. And what about you, Ms. Parker? What would you like to share this morning to our wonderful Smyrna <laughs> audience? Thank you. So guys, you remember last week I shared the take five method of breathing? where you breathe in as you go up and you breathe out as you go down. Let's just do that together. We'll start our day off with a mindful moment. Ready, set, breathe. I love how y'all are breathing in and out. Great, great job. Now you always have your hand with you. Ms. Ames, I've got some fun stuff here that I wanted to share. So Ms. Ames, tell me if it pops up. She's sharing our screen, boys and girls. Did that pop up for you? Yes, I see All it. Right. And so do our students. Awesome. So guys, you see here, We've got this grid of all these different things that you can do when you're feeling upset or sad or mad. And we all feel like that. And again, feelings are not good or bad. Feelings are just feelings. What you do with them sometimes can be good or bad. But these are ways that you can calm down when you're feeling all of those feelings inside. So right here, this controlled breathing, we just did that. For some of you, You've made these kinds of sensory bottles before where you make your own bottle. You put water and some Elmer's glue in a bottle, just like this one. Can you see this one? Mm -hmm. And then what you do is you put glitter and stuff inside, and then when you shake it up, the glitter goes round and round and round and round, comes down to the bottom. For some of you, you might like to pop bubble wrap. This comes in packages that you get at the door sometimes. We've got stress balls just like this. So you've got stress balls that you can stress, and push and squeeze. And then a lot of you enjoy peaceful coloring. Sometimes a slinky is a lot of fun. Have you ever tried to use a slinky before? You hold it in each hand and you just make it go back. Woo! It can get out of control quick. So slinky, pinwheels, those sequined pillows, but I know some of you girls have sequined um, sweatshirts and shirts. You can use those. There are all kinds of things. You might want to go outside. We've got this gorgeous weather coming up that Miss Ames was talking about. Stuffed animals, give those a big hug. You can write in journals. Again, you can use a different kind of squishy ball. All those stretches, so you can stretch way up high, go way up high and come down. Positive thinking, those self-talks. I see Miss Ames doing that stretch. You can put on those earphones or you can even use just earplugs like you do when you go swimming. And those can help cancel out a lot of noise. And then sometimes it's just fine to play with a game, a game that challenges your brain, like a Rubik's Cube. These are all just different ways that you can use to calm down when you're feeling sad or mad or upset. But you can always choose the take five method because your hand is always there with you. Miss Ames, that's just a, a lot of different methods. I just wanted to share real quick. That's wonderful. Really great. I love it. 
Well, that's fantastic. And my students, I hope all of you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week. Remember that we are doing our digital learning throughout thir up till Thursday and Friday is that catch up day. Okay. Um, other than that, I think our Smyrna stars are leaders who are S, selfless. T, trustworthy. A, attentive. R, responsible. And S, successful. Yes. See you another day. Keep up the good work, boys and girls, and keep up with your assignments. Remember, there's always learning to do. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a great day.